What's up? Hi guys. So we wanted to sit down with you today and give you a house update since we haven't done that in a while. And if you're new to the channel, um, Bryce and I moved into this house at the start of the year. And the last video we gave you guys, I don't even remember what month it was, but it was basically a walkthrough tour of the house empty. Yeah, but now we have all of our belongings yeah. here. You saw us move in, um, but we've slowly been Furnishing. organizing, putting stuff where it's gonna go. Yeah. And we have a few rooms that are kind of where we want them to be. Not everywhere, but <laughs> like our living room and some of the common areas that we yeah. spend a lot of time in. So we figured we'd jump on here and show you some of those rooms, give you a little tour update type deal. Yeah. Um, the rooms we want to show you guys today is our living room, our bedroom, and our downstairs movie room. Um, yeah, and if you guys have moved before, you know how it is. I feel like it takes months to really get like every room settled. And in our previous video, we mentioned how we're gonna fully renovate our kitchen and our upstairs bathroom, and we have not started those projects yet. I haven't even touched it. So the, the upstairs bathroom insane. is still blue. Yep. <laughs> I haven't even painted <laughs> yeah. anything in there. And there's like a giant hole in the wall in there, and I don't know. But in the office is just kind of, eh. <laughs> yeah, it's just kind of like a catch all. Like that's where all of our stuff kind of goes. Yeah. But yeah, it definitely takes a while to get everything where you like it. Mm -hmm. um, we find that we're changing things constantly day to day in these Very rooms true. that we're always in. So yeah, yeah, just jump right into it, I guess. Yeah, let's walk around this living room. That's where we're sitting right now. And I know I've kind of been posting Instagram stories and whatnot in this room. So people have just been so excited to actually see it on our vlog. So welcome to the living room. We've kind of set up our couch to be in the center to sort of divide the entryway into this just like sitting room area. And we decided not to have a TV up here because I don't know, it's just a place to hang out and just talk, <laughs> you know, you don't have to watch TV. Um, I don't know. You're like, which way do I go? <laughs> Maybe start by the door. Okay, yeah. This is the door. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna like have you stand right here. Oh, you want um, to go over I here? did just organize these two closet spaces um, the other day. Still have to put the other motorcycle helmets up here, but I put some of my real plants. Oh wait, this one's fake. <laughs> This one's fake, but these three are real, and Lou likes to chew on those. So I found a spot where he doesn't actually go up. So because there's no room for him to get up there. <laughs> yeah, and every morning I open up this door, and then that door is all glass, so the light can like show in there. But yeah, um, we haven't put the closet doors back on yet, but I think we decided we might just leave them off because as long as we keep the closets clean, I kind of like them off. Yeah, it's kind of a a reason to have to keep them clean. Yeah. <laughs> And then as you walk in here, we hung up a macrame piece right here. I think this one was from Target a few years back. And all the plants you see here are fake because Lou likes to eat any of them that are real. Um, if you have a cat, you know the struggle. Um, and then this is like a really cool mid-century chair. This is like an actual old chair that my parents let us have. So that's really sick. This was a furniture piece that was in the downstairs closet when we moved in and we're like what are we gonna do with this and we found a place for it yeah we might well we talked about putting plants on <laughs> yeah, there I but had all my real plants on there to start and then he kept eating them so i was like i don't want him to get sick so yeah now it's just bare if you have any ideas of what we could put on the top of this let me know more fake plants maybe <laughs> yeah there you go and okay so this is um this used to be in our bedroom at our old house this is like a old mid-century dresser and it has this mirror attached to it and we decided to put it out here and i really love how this mirror just like reflects all of our window light so when you're standing in the kitchen you can actually like see all the light on this wall too so i love that glows for sure yeah oh i should point out too we have this little um art piece that we got in our po box so if you're watching this we found a place for it in our home and I got this in our P.O. box. Oh, I didn't even see that when I was. Yeah, I just found here. this spot for it like a couple days ago. I thought it looked really cute. So, 
So the stuff you guys send us literally made it into the new house, which is really cool. We just kind of set up our bar cart over here. We don't really drink that often, but I just thought this is really cute. <laughs> and once in a while, it's fun to like, Haley has these little books that she reads yeah, and I have mixes a cocktail, a cocktail book. Or so or if we do have like family or friends over, it's like fun to whip up little fancy cocktails, but. Also, you yeah. forgot to show this drawer. Oh yeah, we have um <laughs> our candy drawer. <laughs> So as some of you have seen on my Instagram story, we've been getting hooked up by Lindt chocolates. Like they keep sending packages like big boxes of chocolates. So now we are just like overflowing with chocolate. So every time our family comes over, they're just like, just digging into this candy drawer. It's a, um, there's a pretty good a, problem to have. There's actually a second candy drawer. <laughs> oh, those there's, are all like sweets though. Yeah, this is like the fruity candy and the chocolatey candy and gum. We have a sugar problem. I kind of keep it with the chocolate drawer. I don't really go into the second That's drawer very too true, often. Yeah. And then the bottom drawer is all of Lou's treats. And he knows that drawer. Don't. He's actually sleeping in the living room as we speak. Yeah, don't say treats too loud. He might come <laughs> over. Okay. So we kind of covered this area. Um, Furniture wise, I get a lot of questions on my Instagram story of like where stuff is from. So I kind of want to be open about like that too. So rugs are both from Target. Um, I don't know if they still sell them, but that's where I found them. I always have good luck with Target rugs. Haley I spends a lot of time at Target. <laughs> Bryce doesn't even go with me anymore because I just love roaming the aisles. It's like but I I'm can... not the only one that likes to do that. A lot of people love Target. Yeah, a lot of people love Target, and I don't mind going there, but I can't go there for hours. <laughs> yeah, and I feel like I watch people's Target vlogs all the time, and I've tried to get Bryce to do a Target vlog with me like a couple times. He's like, I don't want to go to Target. <laughs> we'll spend too much money. But yeah, this is our, <laughs> I was going to say this is our couch. Duh. Um, our couch we got right when we kind of moved into our rental. And I just looked it up online the other day because people were asking me on my Instagram where it's from. And it is currently sold out. But I'll have. Yeah, we can put the link anyway. Yeah. So if it comes back in stock, people can find yes. it. Yes. Um, if you're watching this in the future, maybe it's back in stock. We'll have links for whatever I can find in our description. Um, I have a link for our egg chair and Lou's little basket tower thing. Um, you can still find those. <laughs> I got tons of questions the other day about this coffee table, but you can't buy that because Bryce made it himself. Take this little tray off, show it off. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he's very proud. Um, this was like one of my first Christmas gifts from you when we started dating. Yeah, I made that a long time ago. I was ago. still living at home with my family. And so like my room was super small. So I didn't even have like a place to put it yet because I didn't have a house of my own. So it's really cool to now see it in our own house. I just together. knew we'd be together eventually and I'd be in our house. So. Exactly. Perfect. Maybe you'll have to start a little furniture building business too. Yeah, I always like building stuff. And I feel like that would be cool someday to make, you know, little tables or whatever. And yeah and our headboard that you're about to see in the bedroom that's what he surprised me with for my birthday and it's amazing and a lot of built too. birthday gifts for Haley. yeah that felt like a tongue twister <laughs> built birthday gifts for some <laughs> weird reason i was like then when you say it a second time it's actually easy yeah i was like nope not at all all right uh moving on to let's see i just picked up these pillows at target the other day a lot of stuff's from target this is from target <laughs> <laughs> and this mirror, which I get a lot of questions about. I think I got this at West Elm. I'm not sure. I forgot. But it took a long time to get it and it's so heavy. <laughs> super, super heavy. This is a little vintage mid-century case that my dad found on Craigslist. He is an expert at finding old furniture. I still get texts from him. <laughs> Look at me filming this right now. I'm like giving the <laughs> angle. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> But yeah, my dad's really good at finding these furniture pieces. He found that dresser that we showed you that has all of our candy in it. <laughs> he found that for us. Um, yeah, very good. And then I found this at a local antique store. So this is also really old. And all of our vintage cameras. Good camera collection. Do you guys want to hear something really satisfying? You ready? The build up. 
That's ASMR. That's nice. Oh, such a satisfying sound. I hope that we can use this someday. It's not a satisfying sound though when Lou jumps up there and that falls on the ground. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he does like to jump up here and then there's nowhere for him to walk. These are our little photo albums with all of our film photos. For the first two or three, I feel like I'm talking so much, sorry. But for the first couple years of shooting film, I never got digital copies of my film photos. So I kind of regret that now because it's like kind of fun to have them digital, but all of our film photos are just prints. So they are, if like our house was on fire, I'd probably grab this stuff Before first. Off, yeah, sure. this is my egg chair. I sit in this every single morning and we found this perfect corner for it. We put the record player here, kind of like the similar setup in our last house, um, having the record player next to it. And then Bryce hung up my guitars and my ukulele and this macrame piece we just found this spot for it like a few days ago this is what my mom made us um right when we got married and it's such a cool spot for it i'm obsessed yeah Haley spent a couple days with it just like in different rooms kind of like yeah. holding it up by the wall everywhere <laughs> we needed to find the perfect place for it and then just like we couldn't figure out where to put it. And then Bryce had this idea and I'm in love with it. Yeah, I was looking at it and I was like, oh, these little hooks for the guitars can probably slide right through there. And it just yeah. worked out. And when the record player is shut, Blue likes to sit on here and he plays with all the beads. <laughs> so yeah, that kind of wraps up the living room for the most part. Yeah, should we head to the bedroom? Yes. All right. To the bedroom. The office, eh, it's still, if there's nothing really to see there. A little bit of a mess. I gave Bryce the green flag to decorate the office however he wants. And so to be continued how that turns out. So here's our bedroom. I love it so much. We actually just got this bed right here. Um, for as long as Bryce and I have lived together, our mattress has always just sat on a box spring on the ground. So now we actually have like a real bed and Lou likes to run and hide under there all the time. Especially at like two to 4 a.m. Yeah. Anywhere in that window. Yeah, that's his new time to just be up and wide awake. The other day I heard so much noise under there so I like peeked under and he's like pulling himself, like dragging himself on his back underneath there, just up and down, like in rows. He's such a weirdo. Sorry we talk about our cat all the time. He's like our only friend. The light fixture is the one that Bryce installed himself. It took over a day to do, but I'm very proud of him for doing that. Bada boom. <laughs> there used to be a big old ceiling fan in here and that wasn't really our vibe. So found this on Amazon and he installed it himself. Handyman. <laughs> and this is the big headboard that he made me for my birthday. He built it, stained it, painted it all himself. And I had no idea. He was building that out at his dad's house and I like never knew. It, it worked was... out good because at the same time, my sister needed help with a project. So I used that, that as, cover as my cover. I was like, <laughs> yeah, I got to help Brittany again. She just like, yeah, I went there the other day and she didn't even show up. And then I'm like, I got to go again. And, then... and I'm normally like, pretty good at catching on to like little things. So I don't know. I... You, you surprised me really good with that. Um, yeah, and then when we got our new bed, I found the side tables that I just really loved, like the curved design too, with the little mid-century legs. I feel like it just goes with, my, my goal with the side tables and then these lamps was to go, like have that curved design to go, go with the stripes there. I'm trying to be all HGTV, I don't know. <laughs> You but, got me, it works. <laughs> <laughs> I think it turned out really cool. Um, the side tables and the lamps. Target. Found on Target. Target.com. <laughs> and here is Bryce's closet. Super exciting. Da, 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 da. Still don't have a door on. Still don't have a door on our bedroom <laughs> yeah. either. <laughs> All of our doors were taken off when we were painting and we haven't put them back on because we want to paint and refinish our doors, which we haven't done yet. But we did put our bathroom door back on. Yeah. For obvious and reasons. And that closet. Yeah, and the closet door. But yeah. 
his lovely closet. We actually just organized all of his hangers the other day and they're all white. Now. Yeah, now all my hangers are white and they don't have the little <laughs> slots so your t-shirt gets stuck when you pull it off. <laughs> if you guys know the struggle of the mismatched plastic hanger life, I feel like we had 12 different colored hangers mixed everywhere. 100%. So now but they're yeah. all white. And now it's looking organized, color yeah. coordinated, jackets, long sleeves. Game boards. Not bad. To the basement? Yes, to the All basement. Right. Quick glimpse at the kitchen. Oh. We're gonna remodel this one day. <laughs> Nothing much has changed in there. All right, probably have to adjust light. Yeah, it's gonna be darker down here, huh? Oh, I'm gonna just change the white balance. That looks a little bit better. <laughs> I don't look like a orange. <laughs> yeah, it was more yellow than anything. Oh but yeah. This looks good. Um, so here is the movie room. This actually feels complete to me. Um, this was really exciting to get done. We finally found the right couch that we wanted, which is so perfect. It's just a big sectional couch. And if I can find the link for that, I'll also put it in our description because I feel like this was very affordable for like how many pieces we got. Yeah, especially in a time where everyone wants a cloud couch yeah. and they're insane <laughs> expensive. Yeah, if you guys have ever seen cloud couches, obviously this isn't as luxurious this, as a cloud couch, but... I was going to say this is a super, super knockoff version. <laughs> like it's like yeah. definitely not as soft probably, but it's really yeah. comfy and it squishy. It is down filled and it's just so deep. Like this is the kind of couch where... You can pull this ottoman in <laughs> and it's basically a big bed. You just get a bunch of blankets and popcorn. Yeah. <laughs> um, Bryce got me this for Christmas. It was like a late Christmas present because it didn't show up in time for Christmas, but it came once we were already living in the house, right? Yeah, it came like maybe two weeks after Christmas. Which was perfect because we were already in this new house and he's like, surprise. <laughs> so I got this little popcorn machine and then I found this little mini fridge that kind of has a retro vibe and it matches it. And I just went with that and I created this little snack corner. <laughs> yeah, so now when we have movie nights, we're fully hooked up. Yep, it's so great. And then we hung some string lights. It's a vibe down here. I love it so much. And then um, we hung the TV on the wall. <laughs> yeah, this is the TV that I secretly purchased when Bryce was off hunting with his dad and his grandpa and his brother. Um, I was home for a whole weekend to myself and that was around Black Friday because mm -hmm. they had a bunch of Black Friday deals and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna go get a new TV for our new house. So it was quite a shock to Bryce when he came home one day. He's like, you bought that big TV? In most scenarios, you'd think it would be me probably who bought the TV or like <laughs> the guy who's like, oh, I want to watch like football or sports or like yeah. stuff on TV. But no, it was <laughs> Haley. I'm the shopper. Bryce barely buys anything. So we're a good balance in our marriage, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you could see his face behind the camera. Um, he balances me out. Let's say that. Uh, yeah. So, oh, a thing that I wanted to highlight. Look how cool these popcorn buckets are. I really wanted to find, like, old-fashioned popcorn buckets, but I wanted them to be, like, reusable so we could just wash them when we're done. So, found those on Amazon. Great find. Yeah, but this movie room really came together. Haley pretty much yeah. did all this when I was gone one day. And, yeah, it's perfect. When we have people over, we slide this part of the sectional over and it's just one mega couch. Should I demonstrate? Yeah, go for it. Oh no. I knew, I knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> I thought it was gonna slide Assistance. Way, way easier. Oh, it got stuck in a carpet groove. Yeah, look how cool. And then can I dim the lights for your effect? Yeah, I'll dim them. Ready? Yeah, so you can see the full effect of the string lights. Three, two, one. Ooh. <laughs> love it yeah i guess those are our our three rooms that feel pretty much complete and we've been spending the most time in huh mm -hmm. besides the kitchen of course but the kitchen yeah needs a little work i can't wait to renovate that i'm so anxious and i i'm like we still have a list on our fridge of all the little 
projects we want to do, but now it's starting to get nice outside, so Bryce has just been, like, outside kind of getting into that mindset. Well, it's like, we're going to be spending a lot of time in the backyard, so I've shifted gears a little bit. It's like outside projects. Yeah, so I, like, power washed <laughs> the deck the other day. That oh, is yeah. insanely satisfying. You You've put... never power washed your deck? Yeah. Yeah, I'll throw, so... I'll throw a little <laughs> clip in here, but, like, it's unreal how crazy dirty your deck gets, and you don't even realize you're just like, oh, my deck looks kind of old. But then I power washed it and it looked almost like new. So hopefully we'll stain that, seal yeah. it up, and it'll last a couple more years. Yeah. And then maybe just do some different railings if we yeah. find. Update the railing, give it a little bit option. cooler look or something like that. But I'm sure we're going to spend a lot of time out there this summer. Yeah. And I've been shifting into like building a garden bed because I really want to. It's like we're approaching May now. So gardening is going to start. <laughs> I just think our minds are like kind of shifting outside but then when I bring up like oh we should start looking into like some kitchen stuff or bathroom stuff Bryce is like overload, I'm, I'm like overload. I'm like all I care about right now is spending lots of time outside and yeah. not renovating the kitchen <laughs> and if you watched our skate park vlog just recently um you know that we want to get a mini ramp in our backyard so we're still figuring that out because we got we called a guy to get a quote on getting like fences put up on the sides of our Yeah, because we don't want to be those library. neighbors that are just <laughs> ripping their mini ramp and it's just like, oh, hey, neighbor, like, don't <laughs> mind just, us. Just annoying to the neighbors or something. But yeah, when we got the estimate, we were shocked. We did not expect it to be as much as it was. Said it was going to be like $22,000 for a fence. fence. Just I on was the like, sides of our yard. It's like, oh, okay, we're probably not going to get a fence. And that was the cheapest option. That yeah. was, yeah. We were thinking like maybe 10,000 at the most. And then he's like 22,000. So we're eventually going to put a fence in ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> but that's, that that's going to be in the future. That was going to be like step one. And then we were going to like do the mini ramp after getting fences. But now we're just thinking like, okay, what can we get by with just doing this year for the mini ramp? And yeah. I don't know. Lots that, and lots of projects. <laughs> you guys are getting a glimpse into just our brains right now. But. Yeah. And that's why uh, all the rooms aren't done yet, because there's a lot to do. Yeah. And we're kind of scatterbrained all over the place, doing things here, doing things here. And mm -hmm. yeah. That's well, just part of life. Eventually like... it'll all be done, but then we won't have anything to do. So hopefully it's never all done, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's true. I don't think it will ever be done. Also. Hey, Lou followed us. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> oh, we never even showed where he was sleeping in the living room. I have a clip of it. Oh, okay. He was underneath that coffee table that Bryce built. Yeah. <laughs> that's where he was sleeping that, the whole that's time. That's his chill zone. I think that's a wrap, though, huh? Yeah. You can kind of peek over here. Yeah, we'll we give... We won't hide the other part of we'll the We'll give basement. you a little peek. This is This where... is real life, you guys. This isn't, like, cutesy yet. This is, like, still extra home decor pieces that I've been collecting. Like, I want to... Once we do renovate our bathroom, I have, like, really cute pieces that we'll use in there. So it's just all kind of like storing for now. That's extra bedding and <laughs> Yeah, this is the mattress that goes in the back of our eighty eight Ford van. Yeah, the van that we took on our West Coast road trip. If you have been watching our channel for a while, you know what van that is. That's our bed. And yeah, I just washed all this bedding the other day. So this was a holding cable. <laughs> and underneath here is our pool table and a couple chairs and yeah, it's just random. Yeah. But an extra TV. That is the TV we used to use before I bought the big one. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so we got to find someone who needs a TV. I got my drums. Yeah, he has got some drums over here now. Uh, my brother and I got this drum set when we were younger, and <laughs> I just randomly asked my dad the other day. I was like, can I bring that to the house? <laughs> so, you yeah. might have to take us out of this vlog with a little drumming. <laughs> Get him with the pressure on me? Yep. Okay. You guys ready for a rock show? Oh, wait, I have my sunglasses over here still. <laughs> <laughs> you can't play drums without the shit. They're mandatory. All right. All right. Thanks for watching the vlog. Subscribe, like, comment, and share we'll with your mom. See your you next time. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> no, it's gone. <laughs>